Clearly to Elon, size matters. Second, second angle is rolling. Auto focus on this one. Did you know that Tesla is the only car in the world that has a bio defense mode? So basically right now in a time when we have a pandemic, say you're driving down a street and the virus was everywhere. Maybe you're driving through a place where there's people alongside of you that all have a coronavirus, and they're all breathing or they're coughing and you're driving your car very slow. Tesla has a filter built into it that is able to protect the virus from coming inside of the car and to keep everything safe. It was used during the forest fires in California where there was fire and smoke everywhere. There's multiple examples of people turning it on in their car and then measuring the air quality and their car dropped from, went from like really bad air quality all the way down to pure air, pretty pure air. So today we're going to explore how that's even possible. We're going to get my Tesla Model X and we're going to take apart part of it, hopefully not break it. Wait, you're going to attempt to take apart our Model X? Yes, is that a bad idea? This is an air filter right here that's like a air filter on a standard car. I think this one is to a Nissan. So we can keep looking forward. I reached out to Tesla, your bubble wrap, a couple weeks ago, and I said I would like a replacement biodefense filter for my Tesla Model X. They charged me $250, really and they mailed me this uh, biodefense filter that I can put in my car. It's a little bigger than the Nissan one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this thing. That's massive. It yeah. is huge. Yeah, I'd expect that to keep out like the coronavirus or <laughs> fires. This is a HEPA Come filter. On. Don't touch it too much. We want to keep it clean and pure still. Yeah. To put it in perspective of how big the bio defense filter is for Tesla, this is a World War II training bomb. It's an actual bomb. They fill it up with. Don't tell them. We're gonna do a video on that. It really is from World War II, a training bomb that they did not explode or use in a training exercise, and then it got wrapped in Gucci. It's the only one in the world that's like this. You could get into a Tesla, you know, hypothetically speaking, if a big old bomb went off, and turn it on, put your family in there, you could drive through the fallout from the nuclear fallout, potentially. We haven't really been able to test that. I don't wanna get sued if you guys do it during a nuclear fallout and all of a sudden you're like, well, the, what's inside said that we could go and get into our car and our Tesla. <laughs> it should work, it should work on, as a theory. If you look closely, it's kind of hard to see inside, but there's the hole. On the other side of the filter, they have like some sort of charcoal that's on there. This right here is pretty cool, like these pads. Yeah. I don't know, I don't. that's not part of the filtration. Maybe that's just to keep the cabin noise quiet as it sits in the car. Elon did a test a few years ago where they bubble, they put a giant bubble around the Model X and then they tested the air outside of the car and inside of the car. And inside of the car, it definitely got down to like clean levels. But what was interesting is that it made the outside of the car inside of the bubble also cleaner, not like 100% clean, but cleaner. There's little cracks inside of cars, you know, where air can get in and out. And so they just figured, let's just blast in as much air as we can and pressurize the car. And then if any air is going to be leaking, it's gonna be leaking out of the car. So it actually cleaned the air inside of the bubble That's because smart. of the leaks in the cracks in the doors or wherever it is. Elon is very smart. Elon is so smart. The Model 3 and the Model Y, wah, 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 they don't have this mode in it. Really? Their filter is too small, it's tiny, it's like, this big, maybe a little bit bigger. I'm very scared because you're gonna be taking apart our car. Yeah, me too, same. Right now we're inside of our Tesla Model X. You can tell by the uh, giant windshield that's in the front here, the Model Y, Model S, and the Model 3 does not have that windshield. If you look right there, there's the bio defense button. Lincoln, why don't you give it a push and let's see what happens. Okay. Listen to that. Wow. So it turns so on air. the air and it's it starts cold. blasting it it's at really, full. It's really cold there too. It is cold because we have the AC on, I think, because we have it set to 70 degrees. Got it. Yeah, look, it's on 10, you can't change it. So we've had this car for almost three years now and we have, how many miles on here, Lincoln? Push the T at the top. 50,747 miles. Yeah, almost 51,000 miles. We have never changed the filter out, the bio defense filter. So if we sat in here for maybe 10, 15 minutes, the air would be pretty darn pure inside of this car versus what's going on outside. Pretty awesome. 
Okay, front trunk. Let's get this Nissan filter out of here. We got a few other things that we need to take out. So the filter is actually underneath this part. So we need to take apart all of this and then unscrew and pull out this. This is not something that I'm comfortable with. Um, taking apart my car. I am not good at taking things apart and putting them back together. I think it can be done, so we're gonna do this. Okay. Oh! I took something off! Put it on the ground in the same way that I'm taking it off. Okay, there's part number two. That was easy. Part number three. Part number four. Now, we need to take apart this plastic or rubber seal that goes on here. Pretty easy to do. There's the stuff on the ground. I'm trying to put it on the ground the exact same way that I took it out. And you can see these plastic coverings cover some of this stuff right here, which apparently we don't want to cut this guy. I will follow that. Right here is the inside frunk and you want to take off the two lights that are on there before you take out this inner part. I broke off a little piece. Dang it. All right, so I broke off a little bit of this one. If you look on this one, you can see um, it's just a little, has a little safety thing on it. All you're supposed to do is push down on that little part right there. And instead I pulled off that big old thing and so this thing just comes off. Not a big deal, this is just the light. It'll still work. All right, here comes this. We are looking at the front trunk and there are a bunch of screws on here. Bolts, there's like a bunch of bolts that I need to unscrew these. One, there's like uh, maybe 10 or 12 of them. Once I do that, I should be able to take this out. This is the tool that's gonna help me get these screws out of here, hopefully. Now we take these off. Hey, Lincoln. Hi. You, you have lots of tools. I'm working here. Oh, you took out the um, soft thing. That's progress. Okay, I think we got all of them off. I need to go inside. Those are for the trunk lights. All right. There it oh. is. Oh my dear, that is nasty. Wow, that's dirty. Okay. That's really dirty. We Look. found it though, you did it. You took apart our Tesla. I took it apart. Look at all of that. It is so dirty inside of there. So does it just come out? Okay. So this is the filter right here. It just sits down in there. Wow, that came off so easy. And it just please. comes out. All right, so take a look at the difference here. This is obviously the clean one. The new one, this is the one after 50,769 miles or whatever the number was. Um, yeah, these things are good to clear out. If you actually want the biodefense mode to work properly, I would imagine you want to change your filters every once in a while. Yeah. Look at the difference here. This is like completely gray and that's just White. Beautiful, pure white. It's kind of cool how you just take this and you just set it down in there. Wow, that looks so much better. The inside of our car is so dusty, like it the is. whole thing. There we go, I fixed something, kind of. This is the only opening on this side that goes into the cabin air. And then right here is where it goes in. It's weird there's not a screw on that. Huh. Yeah. Get it in there so it's nice and snug and tight. And then down here on the bottom part, you can see there's a groove that's made just for this filter. Just set right in there. Once you have it in, there's no screws that are needed. You just basically just have to put things back in. Can I put something back together? That is the question. All right, step one. Get this big plastic thing in, that's the biggest step. I'm gonna put away my tools that I've used once in five years. This goes right there. All right, big black spaghetti. This is one of my Your greatest accomplishments. Yeah. That's what happens when you're stuck at home and you don't wanna drive two hours to Las Vegas. These just snap right in. <laughs> I might have done something right. Okay, this is the test. You ready? I'm ready. Good so far. It's working! It's good. I think you did it. You think I did it? Are you proud of me? Yeah. What would Zach say right now if he was here? I don't 
know. Dan, I am so impressed by your handiwork. You staying at home during the quarantine is the best thing to ever happen to you because now you know how to fix things by yourself and not rely on others. I hope you guys learned something today. I learned that I can fix something, but I also learned that the biodefense mode is pretty cool and you could probably use it more than I used it. I used it like three times over the last 50,000 miles. The filter is there. It can be replaced. Use it if the air quality is poor outside, there's an inversion in the winter time, if there's smoke outside, tons of pollen and you get allergies, turn on the biodefense mode and clean out your car and at least while you're driving, especially on some of the long drives that you have, you'll have some cleaner air inside of your car that should help you breathe better. So thank you Tesla for that randomness and uh, thanks for watching. See ya. See you around. Corona parade. Corona parade. Some sort of coronavirus parade. This is what happens during the coronavirus. Lincoln, I think the world is a little upside down on that map. What yeah. is going on here? I don't know. It looks cool though. Look at that. Looks cool upside down. The world does look cool upside down. I mean, the world kind of is upside down right now, considering all the yeah. quarantines and stuff. Why is it so many? Why is there so many rocks in Chile, but not none like over here? That's a good question. Put that out there to the internet. Why are there so many rocks in Chile, or yeah. Chile? We need to know. Lincoln needs to know the answer to this. Why? Dang it!